Andrea Williams, Chichester 286. Most humbly and with great respect, I would like to ask His Grace the Archbishop of York how naming the Gospel at the heart of this motion is a prickly thing. The great and glorious news is that as Christians we understand and completely the notion of the common good. The Bishop of Southwark is quite right when he says that as Christians we understand and have something to say about social and political theology. At her coronation oath 64 years ago, our Queen Elizabeth was presented with a Bible by the Archbishop of Canterbury. She was there asked this, Will you, to the utmost of your power, maintain the laws of God and the true profession of the Gospel? Will you maintain and preserve inviolably the settlement of the Church of England, the laws and the disciplines therein? Our gracious Queen, to keep your Majesty ever mindful of the law and the Gospel of God, as the rule for the whole life and government of Christian princes, we present you with this book, the Bible, the most valuable thing that this world affords. Here is wisdom, royal law. These are the lively oracles of God. What is the gospel that the Queen and her bishops are called to uphold? It is the kingdom of God, the good news which extends its reach throughout all human history and to which all are subject, to which our government is subject, and which has marked out the great history of our nation and our institutions in education, in health, in charity, in industry, in law, in finance. And it is why our systems, rooted in the gospel, are copied across the world. Since then, 1967, 50 years ago, we have passed laws which have meant that we've not protected the most vulnerable of citizens in our nation. The Abortion Act means that in 50 years, we have aborted 9 million of our citizens. That is one-seventh of our population. The most vulnerable place for a person to be in this nation at this time is in the mother's womb. Since the 1960s, we've had a sexual revolution where sex became recreational and not procreational. And with that, we've seen a rise in pornography. We've seen a rise in sexually transmitted diseases. We've seen not freedom, but slavery. And so the beautiful picture of marriage, one man and woman, and children to be raised within that construct is a beautiful picture to be presented. And since then we've also seen, just in recent days, how uh, Christian preachers um, have been brought to court for preaching the kind of things that I've just said now. How nursing students, for believing that life is beautiful and precious and to be protected from the moment of conception, actually have taken off their courses. Social workers who believe that children need mothers and fathers are also removed from university courses or lose their jobs and are pushed on. That's why freedom is so important. And so again, with the greatest of respect, your grace, the Archbishop of York, to put the gospel at the heart of a message to the nation on the political good, on the common good, is what we should do for the Bible sets out how now to live in a world that is lost and is hurting.